Konnichiwa, this is the Shogunstein with a book review of the first book in the James Reese series from former Navy SEAL Jack Carr. And this is the Terminal List, and it's a thriller. And the uh, second book, True Believers, out in hardback right now. And they just announced the uh, the third book is, is, is coming out. Jack Carr is recently retired from the Navy SEALs, so it lends a tremendous amount of authenticity to these stories. Now, when the, the Shogunstein was a wee lad in uh, high school back in the late 19... <laughs> excuse me. I uh, always was a big fan of, like, uh, repeating characters and, and series books, thrillers. I used to read those Mac Bolan books, especially when I was, like, a, a freshman in high school. But at some point when I was in high school... I found uh, Tom Clancy and the Jack Ryan books. So I remember in high school reading uh, Hunt for Red October, which was the first Jack Ryan book I had read. And that was my go-to uh, thriller, repeating character series for a long time, up until I just had uh, graduated college. And I remember Dead of Honor was probably the last Jack Ryan book that I had read. And I gave up on the Jack Ryan books because I thought the end of Dead of Honor was ridiculous where a uh, Japanese uh, kamikaze crashes a uh, 747 into the capital. I thought that was unrealistic and could never happen, and I thought the ending was ridiculous, and uh, that was the end of me reading Jack Ryan. Little did I know that uh, Tom Clancy, unfortunately, uh, was uh, more uh, in tune with what was going on than, than a lot of people, and that ending ended up being... Uh, a little too uh, realistic, as we know, with the events of uh, 9-11. So, Jack Ryan, I had read all those books from, again, high school all the way through probably about uh, 1995, 1996. And then the next series that I picked up related to the Navy SEALs was the Richard Marcinko books. The first book, Rogue Warrior, was a nonfiction book, one of the best autobiographies I had ever read. And then he turned it into a fictional series where he was sort of uh, a fictionalized version of himself, was the main character. And I used to read those books religiously. But unfortunately, five or six books in um, the series just uh, wasn't nearly as good as it was when it first started. The Rogue Warrior book, certainly the autobiography, was awesome. And the first, you know, several of the, the fictionalized novels were really good. But unfortunately, that, that series... Um, they changed Ghost Riders at, at one point, and I think uh, it kind of went downhill from there, unfortunately. Uh, the next big series with a repeating character that I picked up was the uh, Alex Berenson, John Wells books, which are really, really good and uh, very topical, and I've enjoyed all the John Wells books that I've read, but uh, I read so many of them that uh, I, I needed a bit of a, a break from him. So I haven't read the, the last maybe two John Wells books, but I really enjoyed that character. That was one of my uh, favorite go-to thriller characters for, for a while. And then I kind of gave it a rest until one day I was at uh, uh, Samco Club with the 10,000 Q-tips and the doll 50 pizza and a drink. And I saw this over by the paperbacks and... I'd never heard of Jack Carr before. I didn't realize that he was a new author. And, you know, I looked onto the Amazon. I saw this book had very good reviews. I said, I want to give a new character a try. And I'm sure glad I did. This book was excellent. It was very exciting. Uh, seemed very authentic, again, with the author's experience as a Navy SEAL, his experience with uh, firearms and tactics. It was really, really good. This is an excellent series and I got to uh, meet Jack Carr, and uh, we got my book signed. There we go. My He came here to the uh, Poison Pen here in uh, beautiful Arizona, and he and uh, a couple of other really good authors did a nice book signing and discussion, and I got my uh, book signed. And it's a really, really exciting series. Uh, at least the first book was really, really good, and I just started the the second one, and it's really good so far. The one criticism I would have of the terminal list is, as exciting as it is, and as exciting a, a new 
character in, in thriller fiction, Jack Reese, is the one criticism I would have of this book is that uh, it was very predictable. Everything I thought was going to happen, happened. And there's one uh, kind of plot twist towards the end, and I saw that coming from the, the beginning. And I'm not really usually good at picking up on that kind of stuff, but this one um, I felt was uh, predictable. That said, it is excellent. It reads very quickly. There are some really, really cool parts. It's interesting. You're going to fly right through it. It's one of the the best new series that I've read in a, in a while. This is a great new character. Again, the one criticism I would have of the book is that it was uh, a little bit on the, the predictable side. That said, I highly recommend The Terminal List. If you like military thrillers, if you like political thrillers, it kind of combines all of that with a really, really interesting character. And again, the, the author clearly, clearly... Um, is authentic, and it's it's very obvious that he, he knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's talking about so much that there were parts of the book that were uh, not approved by the, uh, the government, so there was a couple of locations that were uh, blacked out, and that also in the, the new one, too, in True Believer, there's a couple things that are, that are blacked out also. So I really recommend Terminal List. And again, I come from it from someone that likes Triller series. Again, if you like the the John Wells, the Jack Ryan, those types of books, you're really going to like this. And again, it's, it's, it's modern. One of the things, if you're watching the Jack Ryan TV show on the, the Amazon Alulu, um, whatever it is, the, the Netflix Prime, one of the things that they've, they've had to do is sort of take the character – to, to modern uh, current events. So if you read the, the original Jack Ryan books, ones by Tom Clancy, you know, they deal with, you know, the Cold War, you know, 80s, 90s stuff. So they've had to update it and make Jack Ryan, you know, more someone from, from 2020. It's a great show. I, I enjoy it. But it's interesting that, you know, they kind of had to make new stories out of it. What's nice about the James Reese character and... Jack Carr's experience is that it's clear that uh, this is a, a modern um, story with a, a modern hero f- based on what's going on. Obviously, the author in his you know life as a Navy SEAL you know was on the front line of a lot of current things that are going on, and it's clear in this this book. That's also why I like the John Wells books by Alex Berenson, who's a New York Times reporter. I felt those stories. Were, were very realistic also. Um, the Mac Bowen books that I used to read when I was a kid, you know, were, were cartoon. Or at one point time, I remember going to a, to a Walden books, you know, way back in the, you know, the late 19... <laughs> excuse me. And I remember I asked the, the guy at the Walden books, where are the Mac Bowen books? And he goes, oh, you mean the, the stupid Rambo books? And, you know, it was a funny line. And, you know... I guess maybe it is a little bit of an insult because I really did like those books when I was a, a, a kid, but they weren't very realistic at, at all. They were fun, but not very realistic. Terminalist, very realistic, excellent book. I highly recommend this series. Check it out. Jack Carr, The Terminal List. James Reese is the, the new character. I think you'll enjoy this book very much. Shogunstein out.